Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode 10 of Scarlet Nexus. You know, anytime we're doing, like, a big, like, a major playthrough of something, it always feels like episode 10 is a particular milestone, uh, even if it turns out that the playthrough is only going to have 11 episodes. But a special early hello to Azric. Azric, who has just recently started his... Um, holiday vacation, and congratulations to you. Yeah, uh, two days left here, uh, as we could express yesterday. I hope the two days go go swiftly. I think they will. You know, it's been a very, very busy year, but uh, we've we've maneuvered things to a position where I think it's going to be, fingers crossed, uh, a fairly straightforward entry into the uh, holiday season. Uh, just taking a quick second to double check that everything is working properly. Uh, during our last episode, we had to abort the beginning because the video was inexplicably uh, wrongly formatted. Uh, and fortunately, people in chat let us know. Uh, today, it looks just fine. And with that, we are jumping directly into phase 10. So let's have a quick read through our story recap. Here we go. So as of the end of phase 9, Kasane and her team are considering their options on negotiating with the Seiron government. They learn that the Supernatural Life Research Facility has started transporting the weaponized others, including Naomi, to Mizuhigawa. Startled by the revelation that Fubuki is connected to the plan, Kasane and her team rush over to Mizuhigawa. Kasane and the others discover that Naomi and the other former human others, along with Kudama Platoon... Uh, wait. Kasane and the others discover Naomi and the other former human others, along with Kudama Platoon. It feels like there's a verb there missing, but... That's where, what they discovered. Um, after f speaking with Fubuki, who was with Kodama, Arashi figures out he's a fake and unleashes an attack to reveal Kodama's twin sister, Yuta. At a disadvantage, Yuta uses the weaponized others to attack. Agents from Togetsu, who are after Kasane, suddenly appear. They start to corner Kasane and her team. The former humans save Kasane and her team. It's, a, it's so much, sorry. The former humans save Kasane and her team. Yes. Naomi rallies the other others who were previously human to use their size and power to protect her younger sister and her squad. The former human save Kasane and her team is such a trite sentence for the major cutscene that we saw there. Uh, Naomi dies after expressing her relief at protecting Kasane. Karn appears and seems agitated upon seeing the dead former humans. He forcefully copies Kasane's power before disappearing. He is likely trying to copy Kasane and Yuito's Red Strings ability. Kasane thanks Naomi and rushes to Suo to help Yuito, whose brain may not withstand the strain from Karin copying his power. And I really like the picture there, where it was the sun shining against the collapsed other, but the shadow that it cast was Naomi. That was really well done. The group begins heading to the Arahabaki secure site where Yuito and his team are located. On the way, a transmission is broadcasted is, is broadcast across the city that shows a conversation between Yuito and his older brother Kaito, the chief of the OSF. Kaito was trying to use the new Himuka's citizens brains as tools to take revenge against the moon. This, this just the plot in this game is <laughs> We should have titled this episode Revenge Against the Moon. Okay. When they reach the deepest level, they discover Yuito has collapsed in pain. Yuito starts losing his memory. Again, just these individual sentences. Uh, Kasane and her team connect to SAS and manage to repair Yuito's memory using everyone's memories of him. Strangely, Yuito still had his memories from before he met everyone. During the repair, it seems there was a transmission from an external server. There he is. As Kasane and the group escape our Habaki, the citizens of Suo learn of the government's plot of harvesting human heads. <laughs> it's, it's true, it's just still a funny sentence. They started rioting and rebellion against the government. Kasane's platoon meets up with Fubuki, who is exhausted from fighting to get to. Together with Yuito's platoon, they head to the hideout to let him rest. Okay, so there's our, there's our, our summary, and... Hello to, uh, blah, 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 and, and Ruination Ronin. Uh, hello to both of you. I hope you're both having a wonderful Saturday. And blah, blah, blah says, I wonder what gifts we're going to see today. Well, hopefully, hopefully at the end. Like, I would love it if last week's, sorry, our previous episode wasn't even last week. It was like two days ago. Um, if that served to reset it so that we do story stuff first and then bond episodes at the end of the episode, which is sort of the opposite of how it's been from here. Uh, also, just very quickly, 
I actually did go back and watch the cutscene where Arashi was interacting with Fubuki and then dashed at him. And I, I now know why it was so confusing. She so Arashi attacks. It is Fubuki, right? Am I saying the right the right name? Pop 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 pop. Uh, Fubuki. Yes. Okay. Arashi dashes at Fubuki. An ice shield goes up and it shatters from the force of Arashi's attack. Then it cuts to Kasane, who says, Arashi, and then it cuts back to someone's feet as they're sort of glowing, and that person turns out to be Yuta. So because the last name that said is Arashi, I thought when it cut back, it was showing Arashi, not Fubuki. It's, it's, it's one of those cases where just a little bit difference in how that scene was edited would have made it more clear to me as to who was suddenly revealed to be Yuta. After like seeing it again in context, it's like, oh, okay, now I understand. But it was interesting to go back and revisit. Like, how did I get this so wrong? How did I think it was so confusing? Okay, and that's it. We are now on to investigate. Everyone, Major General Fubuki is up. Seems like he's all fine. Says he's ready to talk. This is actual Fubuki, by the way. Yuito and Kasane are working together now. The injured and con unconscious Fubuki wakes up and they all share information they have. I see. I get the basic idea. The expansion of the Kunad Gate and Togetsu's schemes. You did a good job gathering all this information. What we need to focus on now is stopping Togetsu's plans. If we let them be, they'll just send someone else after us. And then civilians could end up getting hurt. Do you have any idea how to stop them? Well, I do have one idea. What if we were to shut down Babe, Togetsu's control computer? The Red Strings research, execution of the plan, that's all Babe. So you're saying if we can shut Babe down, that will stop Togetsu's plans? All right. You're the ones best suited to make a decision with the information we have, so I'll follow your lead. I'll leave Togetsu to you, but if there's anything I can do, let me know. Could you act as a go-between for the new Himuka government and the Seiron provisional government for us? The new Himuka government is in a state of confusion. Resolving that could restrict Togetsu's movements. So you want me to get the governments to agree to a ceasefire? If you can fan the underlying insecurity and suspicions the politicians have for Togetsu well enough, they'll definitely say yes. Right, I'll give it a shot. I'm not a politician though, so I don't know if they'll listen to me. I'll use my influence as a regiment commander the best I can. I'll get ready for negotiations right away. Fubuki, don't get yourself into trouble. You too, sis. Take care of them. I think we're safe leaving Suo and Seiron to Major General Fubuki. So, we're infiltrating Togetsu. What's our battle plan? Kagero and Kyoka have useful information on the area. We should use it to make a plan. Oh, sorry. Do you mind if I leave that to you, Major? Yuito, I want to talk to you before you go to Togetsu. <laughs> okay. What is it? You don't know? Hey, how about we go somewhere else? Um, let's see. I'll wait for you in Kikuchiba. Come when you have the time. Kagura? Sorry, I'll be right back. I'll leave the strategizing to you. Hey, Yuito! Hanabi, wait. Sugumi, everyone, there's something I have to tell you. You too, Kasane? This is about Kagero, right? We should listen. No. Kagero killed Yuito's dad? I don't want to believe it. There is much I want to say, but perhaps we should follow him. I worry about leaving them alone. That's why I told all of you. We should go to Kikuchiba too. Oh, I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, first of all, it's sort of a fun thought experiment. What would be the second worst time to, <laughs> to have told um, 
Or would there be a worse time? Maybe the exact moment that Yuito got up from his horrible, painful brain erasure uh, surgery thing that the others did on him, if Kagero immediately leaned into frame and said, hey, I killed your dad. If, if maybe that is the one other time that we know of that would have been worse than right now, immediately before they're go, gonna go on this extremely sophisticated military operation. Sorry, I'm going to Kikuchiba, right? But, uh, like, so now we're all gonna go there. I, so, very quickly, I understand their concern for their friend, but also, Kagero went out of his way to have this private conversation with Yuito. It doesn't really feel right for us to be barging in there. It kind of feels like whatever's gonna happen is gonna happen and should probably happen independent of any of us. But, let's, let's pop in. Considering the situation at the scene, I thought Kagura may be responsible. Whether it was Kasane or Kagura, the fact that the perpetrator was in the OSF will be even harder on Yuito. It's covered in water. It'll be easy Don't to electrify. It. Useless. Check me. Oh, that was sudden. I also noticed that we do not have uh, uh, Kagero's power, which makes sense under the circumstances. There's something over here, though, isn't there? Hey, Groomfy! Groomfy, I hope that you're having a nice, uh, a nice Saturday so far. Yeah, every once in a while, these Kikuchiba environment bees or whatever will be crafting materials, so I'll still go a few steps out of my way to get them. Okay. Give it to me, Arashi. Let's get down. Let's finish it. I'm ready to go. If you need me to fight, just say the word. Oh, yeah. No, actually, she's not wrong. I didn't bother to check to see who's the high-level characters. And actually, yeah. Hanabi and Sugumi are just fine. We'll keep them in the crew for now. I want to make sure that they that everybody gets a chance to level up. Pyrokinesis should work. Leave it to me. With that oil, it'll be hard to move if they get on you, so be careful. Useless. Check. Wow. So impressive. And thanks to you. Ow. No, thank you, Kyoka. Okay? Yes, Kyoka. Thanks to you. I'll do it. I'm off. Oh, come on, Berg. Okay, I wound up way further away from this guy than I intended to be. It may appear to be a dead end at first glance. I think we can make it to the other side with my power. So how do you think... Ouch. How do you think um, Yuito fights um, aerial enemies? Because his... According to the little description that we got at the beginning, he doesn't get a lot of aerial attacks. Like, that's really a Kasane thing. Although I suppose that's more of like a rhetorical question. Don't. Uh, teleportation, yep. I really like Luca's power. The teleportation, I like the little sound effect it makes when you sort of bamf through something. Uh, I like the fact that we can get to places that we can't otherwise go, including something over here. Every day, so I'm ready to go to the front lines whenever I'm needed. Uh, kids, kids are still, uh, ski camp says, um, Grumpy and Moo is napping, so he is free. 
Hope you can get a chance to like, uh, well, I guess either relax, you just like sort of chill out and relax, or potentially play something that you've wanted to play and it's been tough to focus on because the family's up and kicking. All right, so. It's up to you. Okay, that's not what I thought it was going to be. So, how do you stop doing this then? Like, none of the buttons work. I guess I'll just go shock him a whole bunch. I would love the, the, the ability to, like, not be the drone if I've done this accidentally. Come here. Oh yeah, I forgot that we like borderline maxed out the um the XP game. Oh, get out of here, weird goat monster. Black Phillip, we're not into you right now. Also, why does RSG, why is her like uh surge to battle quote? Run, youngster. Why? <laughs> of all things. I get that RFG's a little bit older than the rest of the crew, but it's not like she's, you know, Gemma. Or maybe she is. I don't know. Again, one of the tropes in this game, one of the uh, sort of background things is that they're all taking anti-aging pills that I, I guess makes them borderline immortal so they just don't age at all. All right, yeah, I want that green thing that's out there and we shouldn't have too much difficulty getting this. I'll leave it to you. All right. I feel like that's oh son of a well what, what else was up there or down here it here it is like okay couple from all the time we spend together support me Also, uh, somebody somebody had actually done a private message. Um, so down at the bottom right, see how um, the red circle there? That's my pyrokinesis ability, but over here, electrokinesis is down at the bottom. Somebody said, wouldn't it be better if you put them both on, like, the down one? So it's, you know, you can switch between them at will. I've already sort of gotten a little bit used to where they are now. Oh, wait, I'm headed the wrong way. So, it's not a bad idea. Like, you'd make sense that, you know, the the ability that enhances your standard attacks, you'd want to have there. But, if yeah, I just sort of, like, got truth, used to the default. try to kill Kagura, will he? Let's hurry and catch up to them. No, Hanabi, once Yuito learns that Kagero tried to kill his father, Yuito will apologize to him and then buy him lunch. Like, like, and I'm not even being ironic there. Yuito has uh, extremely odd <laughs> reactions to the knowledge that someone has tried to uh, do something bad or even successfully done something bad. Ugh. I have trouble following up after the the aerial Y attack. Specifically, I seem to always wind up a little bit further away than I intend, even though it's like a set amount. I'm not sure how to how to get back in. You know, do do the follow up attack. She doesn't ever seem to go as far forward as as I'd like her to. Oh, 
Oh, by the way, I we did like talk a little bit between the streams about um, blah blah blah's question. Who could the transmission have come from? Who would have information about Yuito and his memories? One idea would be that it's Yuito's father and that he's not actually dead. But first of all, that really doesn't. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Why would you tell me that right now? Can I do something with, um... Clairvoyance over here? You can spot vanished enemies and... Okay, was this... No, that's always there. I don't know why she said that, but that's cool. Oh, and I can surely teleport through this. Do I want to? Yeah, probably. It may appear to be a dead end at first class, but I think we can make it to the other side with my power. Like, is it is it conceivable that the person that um, uh, Kagero stabbed wasn't actually Yuito's father, but was maybe uh, Yuta in disguise? But he was bleeding pretty badly. At least that was my my understanding of it. So I don't really know how it makes sense that. Okay, I've got to clear this out if I want to get to what's behind it. An OSF member is always ready to deploy. It's up to you. I'm borrowing this. You burned me good doing this. Hot. Let's keep going. We did it. So it's at least a possibility, but even then, I don't really understand how Yuito's father injecting his memories into that would have given Yuito all of his memories, because it's not like his father was with him 100% of the time. He's a super busy dude, he's like in charge of a whole bunch, he's like in charge of the corporation or whatever, isn't he? Like he's a super high-ranking guy, so I can't imagine he was home all that much. So. Then it would go to, it could be Yuito's mother, who as far as I know, we've heard nothing at all about. After that, it could be something from Togetsu, where when they took the full scan of his brain, they had more information than... Oh, yeah, let's save it up. Than even Kagro knew about. Um, yeah, let's, let's save over the next one down. But after that, I don't know. Like, since, you know, since we've never played through Yuito's story, I don't know if there's a likely suspect who would know all about Yuito from, like, the time before. I guess... Maybe? I need your help. Oh, God, three of these guys. Okay. But I think we can make it to the other side with more power. The attack at the enemy's outer shell. You might be able to break it. The shell is broken. Attack now. Support me. That was a good one. Dodge. Wait, did we break this thing's front legs? Why is he doing this? Are you alright? Let's keep going. I trust you, Kasane. Let's get rid of them. I'm off. Oh, I'm focused. Well, Kasane, you're so good. I would say one thing about having the two different like um, toggle bars. The toggling between the, the menus works really well. Like, I'm I'm actually surprised that I'm no I'm no master, but I feel like I've gotten accustomed to it pretty quickly. And what ability is where? Although I never ever use. Hey, wait a second. 
Why do I not have... Wow, do we not have enough slots for everybody? Hold on a second. Where's my SAS field? So, yeah, here normally top would be Kagero, and then over on the right, I guess, would have been Yuito's power. Oops. I didn't think about that, because I don't... I was wondering, hey, I never ever use Sclerokinesis, which is basically immunity from damage. I might as well have that in there, right? Like, why leave that spot empty? Okay, um, we're headed this way-ish. Oh, you know what? Let me stop by the save guy. I'll leave it to you. Yeah, we might as well actually save it. Conclu Wait, conclusion and an accidental meeting? This this can't possibly be the last story beat. There's no way. We're nowhere near Let's the conclusion of any of this. Wait, sorry. There's something over here. Can I get it? Yes, I can. And now just teleport through the gate for me, buddy. And then you can take a break. Kasane, I know my power will help. Do we make it? You take me, Arashi. More that seems to be the spot. Useless, check me. Kasane. We'll corner it. With that oil? It'll be hard to move if it gets on you, so be careful. Dodge! Give it to me, Arashi. I even had hyper velocity on, I couldn't dodge that shit. Okay, get up! This is a really good time to use immunity from damage, I feel. Oh, I really want to be on the other side of him. Aim for that spot. Got it. Got it. Go. Let's do this. I'm with you. Let's take it down while it's burning. Okay, I think Arashi has that <laughs> locked up for us. All right. Um. Oh, let me grab the goodies over here. There's a resource reading near here. You should check it out. I can send this drone in. I don't I don't find the drones very fun, is the problem. Like, you just sort of like run up and jam X on them a whole bunch. Okay, how have I done this? How did I wind up exactly where I started? Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, here's what we'll do. We'll go to... Support me. Here, might as well grab a save real quick. Oh, hello to CFG Games. Uh, doing real well. I hope you're having a nice Saturday. We are into Phase 10, uh, otherwise known maybe as Chapter 10 of... Don't fail. Oops, hold on. Uh, of Scarlet Nexus and having a very good time of it, and I'm just having a little bit of difficulty discerning where in the whole world I'm trying to go. It's not that big of a map. I've gone all the way around it. I'm gonna go this way. We're trying to get to that red diamond, and it is very cleverly always on the opposite end of where I want to be. So, I came down some, like, staircases. Is that... Am I just, like, completely in the wrong place, then? Okay, let me just get through that. If you haven't played this CFG games, it is a pretty, pretty neat game. You get a chance to use all sorts of different abilities based on the party members that you have access to, and there's not a one of them that doesn't feel cool. Uh, teleportation, duplication of objects, uh, enhancing your psychokinesis. I know it feels like I'm going the wrong way, and I agree. I just cannot, for the life of me, figure out what the right way is here. It really looks like you go down these steps. 
Okay, maybe I'm maybe I should pay less attention to the mini map and more attention to the environment. This isn't the sort of game where there's usually like elevators and stuff. Like we're not playing Watch Dogs, right? What on earth is it trying to communicate to me? Let's uh, look at this again. Whoops. So where I'm trying to get to, it doesn't show on this uh, level of the map, and I don't see any ways to get down from here. This, um, you know, series of rectangles over there, that's some sort of elevator, but it doesn't appear to connect on this floor. Let's go look to be sure. Oh, well, there's stuff over here. I might as well grab this. this. If there's ever one uh, consolation prize for feeling a little bit stuck, it's when you find something cool that you otherwise wouldn't have had. All right, uh, no matter what the arrow says, I'm going to go back upstairs and we're going to explore alternate Let's zones because this doesn't appear to be it. Yeah, let's see in other news a uh, couple days off from vacation time super looking forward to that uh like i said a little bit ago oh, it's been a it. it's been a very busy and eventful year but you know I, I guess in the most cases in a pretty good way a lot's happened um, there's parts of me that would have liked things to change, uh, less at work than they did, but, you know, keeping it together. I'm just gonna throw it on another save, because I feel like we're going upstairs. I, I feel like we're on the right track now. We'll find out. Also, a little bit later today, uh, probably in almost exactly two hours, there's gonna be a, another watch party at Twitch. No, sorry, I always will go to say Mia's, um, Twitch channel, but it's actually on her. Oh, hold on. On her Yuito, Discord. Kagura. Did we interrupt you? Kagura, let me see your wounds. I'll try to fix you up. Thanks, Sukumi. <sighs> Did everyone hear that? About my father? Yeah. Kasane told us. Are you alright? I guess so. For now. Please. Tell me what happened to him. Right. Where to begin? Kagero, this is just a conjecture on my part. But wasn't it orders from Togetsu? It was indeed. I'm an assassin sent on a mission from Togetsu to infiltrate Suo. I see. So you weren't hired by the Seiron government. It seems Chairman Sumeragi was more distrustful of Togetsu than the former chairman. They considered him a threat. So you assassinated him for Togetsu. If I wanted to crush Togetsu's plans, Babe's plans, I couldn't be seen as a troublemaker. So it was self-defense. That's Had not I done a little better, though, how that I could works. have fooled them and gotten by not having to assassinate anyone. Look, I'm really sorry about Chairman Sumeragi. If you tell me to face the consequences, I will. But first... I want to finish dealing with Togetsu. I know that's asking a lot, but please. Who is the she you mentioned? Is she the reason? I suppose I have to tell you. I have a family I left on the moon. A wife and a daughter. I first met my wife when we were getting ready to emigrate to Earth and had our daughter. If emigration no longer happens, my daughter no longer exists. I won't let that happen. That's why I have to do everything I can to stop them from using the red strings. It was all to protect your daughter. This was 2,000 years ago. She's been dead a long time, so I'm sure you think it all sounds silly. But I don't want my family, my daughter's existence, to be erased. If your family is so important to you, why did you leave them on the moon? You could have just brought them to Earth with you. I could have if I was a normal colonist. 
but that wasn't the case. I was an agent placed among the colonists. My job was to make the redevelopment of Earth fail. Why? The moon spent a thousand years fixing the Earth's environment, to sabotage it when it was almost finished. Did things change on the moon? If my memory serves me correctly, I heard that something flew in from outer space. You don't know? It's kind of a long story, but I'll tell you what happened 2,000 years ago. It was when Yakumo Sumeragi and the colonists immigrated to Earth. A comet passed close by the moon. The comet left behind the unknown substance called other particles in space. Gravity then began pulling those particles down to Earth and the moon. Earth was still mostly unpopulated, so the effects were unknown. But the moon began to have cases of people turning into monsters. Monsters? Do you mean... Yes. Metamorphosis. If a living creature comes into contact with the other particles, they change into aberrations. Into others. At the time, the redevelopment of Earth had moved to the final step of gravity control. If that were sabotaged, we could stop the other particles falling to the moon. Basically, that was the moon faction's plan. And I was an agent who had been given secret orders to carry it out. Yakumo Sumeragi and the rest of the colonists were already on Earth. You were just gonna leave them to die? It's terrible, I know. But people like Yakumo resisted the moon's wishes, and the plan ended in failure. So the moon put Plan B into action. They pushed the other particles toward Earth, surrounding it, and making it so we couldn't return home. Other particles surrounding Earth. The extinction belt. I think it's safe to say that the moon's space technology is far ahead of ours. The moon was overpopulated at the time, and I heard most of the people went to Earth. It was probably a plan to reduce the population. I was cut off from the moon, so staying on Earth was the only option. I don't know what happened on the moon after that. The metamorphosis might have spread. More people like my sister. Even so, I believed that my family was safe, and joined Togetsu so I could return to the moon. I went in and out of cold sleep many times, trading off with comrades as we searched for a way to break through the extinction belt. But after several awakenings, I realized Togetsu had changed their plans. There was just no way I could allow them to reset history. That's why becoming a traitor was the path I chose. I understand. My father wasn't perfect. He would often make mistakes, especially when it came to how he led the government. But he was family, the only father I had. I just can't forgive you for killing him. But it's because of that. I understand your desire to protect your family. So let's stop Togetsu together. I will always resent you. But I think I can stand up to them with you. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I might have done something distasteful to further my goal if I had taken a wrong turn somewhere as well. So I think I understand a little bit of your actions. You know, you're much more mature than I am. Or maybe I'm just too immature. I guess in the end, I made you decide after all. So lame. Let me help you stop Togetsu. Are you finished? Kasane, I caused you so much trouble. I'm sorry. Stop acting so meek all of a sudden. It's weird. Kasane, I thought you were the one who killed my father. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I doubted you. It's just as much my fault for not saying anything. When I wanted to kill you, I thought that having you hate me would keep me focused on the task. I guess that makes sense. So, you don't have to apologize. Yeah, okay. That's enough talk for now, then. I'm sure you all have your own questions. Even I don't understand what's going on. 
But we have to work together and focus on what needs to be done. If that is your decision, I don't think we have anything else left to say. All right. So our main mission is to go to Togetsu as soon as we can and stop Babe. What do you think of using my power to make everyone invisible in order to infiltrate it? We should probably assume that Kagero and I are both known traitors by now. We don't have time to dwell on it. It's dangerous. But I believe Kagero's plan has potential. Togetsu probably doesn't expect an attack from such a small force. Let's consider it a sneak attack. Okay, let's do it. First, we'll climb Hiano Mountain and get close to Togetsu. <sighs> that was not good on my nerves. Don't scare me like that. I'm glad you're both okay. Wataru, Haruka, I'm sorry I made you worry. Yuito seems unfathomably stupid to me. I just... <laughs> It's just, it's very difficult for me to fold my mind around the idea that Yuito's father was successfully assassinated by Kagero. And Yuito learns this in a speech where Kagero says to him, I, if I had tried slightly harder, I wouldn't have needed to assassinate anyone. So it wasn't even necessary. And also... It wasn't to any particular purpose, except it was convenient to Kagero to appear that he was working with Togetsu so that he could then, at a later date, preserve his own family's history, who, by the way, have presumably been dead for 2,000 years. And Yuito is somehow just sort of shruggingly okay. Yeah, like, a, he's just super going to resent Kagero. But he's somehow okay with that being the case. I... If I had been made to write a scene like this, where we want to keep the party together, Yuito would have said, I don't forgive you. I'll never forgive you. I want you to know, invisibility or not, Pretty soon, this sword is going to go straight through your heart. But we have to put that aside because we need you to do this job. We're going to set this right. And if my father doesn't get to be alive, then we might as well make sure that your wife and daughter, who bear no responsibility for this, that they don't also pay the price for what to get to is done. But make no mistake... This is not over. Like, that's how I would have written him. He would have been ripping pissed about this. But it's just like, well, I guess I can understand where you came from. And also, just the thing, I'm sorry, but the thing with Kasane, again, Kasane multiple times attempted to murder him, damn near succeeded. And in fact, I'm not entirely sure why she didn't succeed. It just sort of went to a cutscene and then he wasn't dead. But, like, <laughs> again, what he now knows is that Kasane didn't murder his father, still wanted to kill him. I think he probably knows now at this point about future Yuito. If I remember the whole story correctly, he does know about that aspect of it. But still, just the fact that he doesn't appear to take any sort of uh, personal affront to the attempts on his life is, is difficult for me to get behind. Oh, let me pick this up. Even though we're all at full health, let's just save it up. Now, Kasane's gained a level in all of that. Uh, let's see if we've got brain points to spend, brain map to spend, whatever it's called. Uh, wait, how do we have zero points? Or how do we have blank points? Oh, I have three points. Okay. Is there anything I want to spend three points on? I would pick this up, restore status ambulance when brain drive is activated. I mean, I guess that's, but that's only at the moment that it's activated. And since I can't manually activate it or not, it doesn't really help me out there. Then we've got brain field. I just, in, Kara Luna asked about this earlier. I just don't really like brain field. It doesn't, it doesn't feel good. I don't really like the environment. Um, increase the EXP bonus. Um... Yeah, I'd rather save the points. Like, like part of me is like, oh, that'd be cool to have more EXP bonus, but 
I'm just gonna save the points for right now. I like this musical choice for like wandering a snowy mountainside. Okay, how much more dodging did I need to do there? I'm borrowing this. Do it. Useless. It's over. That was a good attack. Oh, these guys are level two. Yeah, I don't even know why I'm putting on pyrokinesis. Those guys are barely worth getting out of bed for. Oh, hey, wait a second. As long as we're here, I do secretly have a... We're not going to spend time on this, but... Uh, during... Oh, no. Session pounds. Are those the guys up here? These guys are... Yeah, so during brain drive, so I need to be in brain drive mode, uh, then I can use, uh, like, try to defeat two session pounds. I guess even Sagumi's given up on me now. What you did was terrible. Still, I won't stop being friends with you. Useless. Ah! It's been years since anyone called me that. Thanks. And apologies for the other pause, but I need to um, put... Where is it? SAS? Yeah, I'm on the wrong thing. I need this to be Kagro's power, because that's where Kagro's power has always been. Now, this means that at the moment, I do not have Yuito's power slotted, which I feel like I'm okay with. Because I really like all these other powers a little bit more. Um, yeah. Yeah, let's hold on to that for right now. Interesting decision to have us, like, navigate this field of level 2 enemies at level 50. I can not feel that, um, Hanabi is being a little bit sarcastic. to break it. We'll be able to go forward now. Also, I'm just letting you know, there is no there's no maximum width on this that wouldn't make me feel uncomfortable. If I was in an environment like this and in real life, I would always feel like it was going to collapse on the one side. I'd be hugging the wall there. Never feel comfortable bottomless drop like that. Alright, let's uh, save it. And I think this might be getting to this point where, like, session pounds hang out. Session pounds are those assholes in, like, the floating boxes that just come up and explode on you. We're almost to Togetsu. Kagero, are you ready? An earthquake? The shaking. It's similar to the big earthquake at Kunat Highway. I think it's over. Is everyone okay? The Kunat Gate just briefly put out some strange numbers. An earthquake-type shaking was felt all across New Himuka. It wasn't too severe, so there shouldn't be too much damage. We're fine here. There was no significant damage to Hiano Mountain. It must have been caused by the Kunat Gate. 
Togetsu is doing all kinds of research on it too, right? Yes. While we're stopping Babe, we should dig up as much useful information as we can. Yuito, how's your head? Do you feel anything weird about your power? Any abnormalities? Huh? No, not really. My head hasn't hurt at all since everyone gave me my memory back. Why? That's good then. When we were fighting, I felt... How can I describe it? It was like your power was spilling over. You might have just been excited. Does that kind of thing happen to you? It is true that powers are affected by emotions. However, if that was not the case... There is a theory that it is a sign of decaying mental abilities. Apparently, when abilities are about to disappear, they become strangely more powerful. So you're saying... my powers are going to go away? Apparently, it's been observed in rare cases along with the aging of the brain. It shouldn't be happening to you now. Yes, that's true. However, his brain has suffered quite a bit of damage. I also used to be a dud, so it might be different from a normal human brain, too. What? You were a dud? Oh, right. I didn't tell you guys yet. Blah, blah, blah. I'll catch us up when we have sort of a break you in the... You a psionic from an experiment when you were a kid? Cutscene. I can't believe you were a dud. Do you know how long my power will last? Will it disappear today or tomorrow? It's not that sudden. But there haven't been many cases, so I can't say for sure. We're not sure that's what it is anyway. This is all just an assumption. I know that. If it's not going to be sudden, I won't think about it for now. Sorry for adding to your worries. Don't get too caught up about it. It's okay. I didn't realize it myself, so I'm glad you said something. Okay. Anyway, we should start watching our surroundings. We're near Togetsu. Time to turn invisible! You ready? Yes. We'll go right in. All right, so um, blah, 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 had to step away briefly. So, yes, we went to where Kagero and Yuito were having their, their little powwow about the fact that Kagero killed um, Yuito's father. And Kagero said, uh, in effect, listen, man, it was kind of convenient for me because it would help to maintain my cover that I was secretly working on behalf of Togetsu so that I could then quietly work against them. And also, I want to do this to save my own family who died 2000 years ago, presumably of old age, at least as far as I know. And then Yuito said, well, that's pretty uncool, man. I'll never be able to forgive you, but... I guess we're we're good for now because I do understand your motivations in it. It was an odd scene, and now yes, we are on our way to Togetsu. Yuito, I'm curious about what Kagero said. Are you really feeling all right? Yeah, I'm fine. My power apparently won't go away too soon, so we just have to see what happens. Okay, just don't push yourself too hard. Also, just quickly, the amount of assumptions that happened there, they felt an earthquake, they then, hold on, you guys, stop for one second. They assumed it was the Kunad Gate, which I admit is, is a fairly good assumption. Then Kagero said, oh, I felt something vaguely like maybe your powers were overflowing. Instead of, like, I'm just telling you, my belief there would be that since Karin stole Kasane's power, maybe he was doing something to the gate, since that's, like, literally his whole plan, as far as we know. But Kagero thinks he might have felt something in the thick of battle, so then they all assume that this has something to do with his power, with, uh, um... Uh, Yuito's brain, and that now his powers are going to go away, then they assume that if any of the things that they just assumed are true, that it wouldn't necessarily mean that it would happen uh, immediately, since they have no basis to believe that this is correct. I mean, like, that was an odd conversation. Design, they have synergy.
Honestly, like, I would have said, oh my god, like, Karin must be doing something about the Kunad Gate, but we have to push forward because, uh, to get to has information on what the gate is. They've been doing it's their own research. To keep this up with this many people. There's not much security inside, just like we thought. All right. We'll go straight to Babe. Look out! Damn! Here they come. The Togetsu design children. Oof. Looks like they were expecting us. We have to break through. How? We're surrounded. Figure something out. If we run now, there will be even more security next time. I'll use teleportation. Not with this many people. We don't know the layout inside, babe. I know the location, and we have to take our chances. Kasane is right. We may not have another opportunity. If we get close to babe, they'll have to take precautions. So why don't we just take the risk? I trust you. Let's get this done. Luca, do it. Here we go. Very, very polite of the design children to, to wait while they hashed out that plan. <laughs> I assume that was probably in brain messages, though. So it was probably all happening borderline instantaneously. That's 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 my uh, brain cannon this on it. Is the entrance to Babe? Good, it worked. Nice one, Luca. Maybe you should rest a little. A little Borlack. No. I appreciate the concern, but I don't think we have that kind of time. Huh? Uh. Others. Why? Hey, Haruka! Wataru! Damn. Sinet has been cut off. I don't know why there are others here, but we're better off than before. Yeah, there's not too many. Let's take him out. Yeah, hello to uh, Borlak. Okay, the more party members you recruit, the more SAS you'll be able to use. Some skills you learn allow you to activate multiple SAS simultaneously and can gain a battle advantage by activating different SASs depending on the situation. Use square, or sorry, uh, start to access the main menu and equip your SAS to your liking. I'm sure glad that they pointed that out this far into having this many people. Let's go, Kyoka. Okay, I didn't really mean to throw that away, but we'll deal with it now. The shell is broken. Aim for its weak spot. I'll do it. Check. It. Yeah, Borlak, like, I hope you're having an, a wonderful Saturday so far. The attacks to the outer shell are working. I'll try to break it. You got this. Stuck won't work. Finish it, I sense no others around us. This is bad. I never thought they'd toss a bunch of others around inside the babe building. You didn't know? Wait, what do you mean toss? Do you mean they caught others and brought them here? Or maybe they know how to metamorphose, like Suo. Togetsu possesses the other particles. They used them to make others. This is the first time I've seen them used like this, though. The others were born here by placing live creatures in contact with the other particles. Should we keep going this way if we want to shut down Babe? I don't have the blueprints to the building, though it looks like the command center is as far inside as you can go. The terminal that tried to take control of Yuito only connects to the superficial information on Babe. All right, let's just keep going. Has anybody else noticed that more than the others, um, more than the other characters, Kyoka's subtitles are frequently different from what the voice actor actually says? Which doesn't bother me. I'm just curious. Why not update the text to be what the voice actor said? Like, they're not going to ask her to re record the lines to be more in line with their subtitles. Her delivery is fine. Just update the text 
it's it's not a big deal either way, but they've patched it a few times. I'm sure I'm surprised that they haven't sort of reached in and made that one quick adjustment. I'll say this, watching things with Mia, Mia likes to watch movies and TV shows with subtitles on. The one thing that I've learned about that is the subtitling. Are these cubes lined up and part of Bates' computer network? Yeah, it's on the level of Arahabaki and Suo. Subtitling in mainstream, like, multi-million dollar movies and stuff is fucking horrible. Split apart. We should figure out the real one and attack it. Okay. Tell me she did. We did it. I think I found the real one. Now. Let's keep going. Okay, let me just turn these off. Um yeah, uh, subtitles appearing on top of other subtitles, grievous spelling mistakes, pun punctuation mistakes, subtitles that don't match what's being said, even like really a little bit. I mean, if you guys want to use um, let's do this. Duplication, I can help you out with that. Okay, the enemy has lost us. Oh yeah, Sugumi actually just has a straight up gun. I didn't. I I never paid attention to what Sugumi's doing with her time, but yeah, apparently she just got a gun that she shoots. I need your help. I think I described one of them at, at, at some point in a previous stream, but one of the more egregious examples was, uh, without giving any any story away whatsoever, in Black Widow, it would it showed subtitles. So so at the various points in Black Widow, there are characters that are talking in other languages, but like the cast knew what they were saying, so you would get subtitles, so you, as a, maybe an English speaker, would understand what these other characters are saying. However, the subtitles, how to describe this? So a character is speaking, say, like Macedonian, which is actually a thing that is in there. So on screen in the movie, it puts English subtitles for what that character is saying, except the people who added the closed captioning put on top of that, in bright yellow lettering, bracket, speaking Macedonian, close bracket. So you can't actually see, you can't actually like read what's being said. Uh, and this is like everything. This is every, um, ugh, hold on. Oh, that wasn't the real one. Okay, fair enough. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sonic, you can relax. We got him. And by comparison, it made me realize how well games do it. Like, I had to, I, I well, didn't have to, but I found that um, The Witcher 3 is a rare example of a game that I played the entire thing through with um, you can trust me. the subtitles active because there would be, you know, random characters that I just could not understand what they were saying. Um, so I played the whole thing through with subtitles. I never, ever had a problem like that where the subtitles were way off from what the character said or it was obscuring information that I was supposed to have. Oh, 
Okay, apparently that last hit super missed, but that's okay. Let's do that again. Seemed to work out okay. There we go. Oh god, there's bad stuff on the ground. I didn't even see that. Hold on a second. Let me eat some light jelly real quick. And it just, it, it, it made me much more aware of what people with any sort of, like, uh, hearing impairment or whatever have to go through. Like, having the closed captioning on is a, uh, a in, my, in my view, a deeply substandard experience because, particularly, of how little effort is being put into doing the closed captioning. You know, naming characters who, from a story perspective, you're not supposed to know who they are or what their name is yet. It's supposed to be a voice in the other room, but the closed captioning will just straight up identify them to remove any any possible mystery of who it is. Let's go, Kagura. Nice. The enemy doesn't see us. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the one of the ones that will go hide in its box unless we Useless. Check do a little bit of that. Oh, I wouldn't mind going to go get that green thing, but I don't think we can reach it from here. Support me. Let's get rid of them. Do it thanks to my power. I'll do it. It's over. Go, Kazane. Like, there was one that we watched. Uh, I don't remember which one. This, I don't remember if this was, like, uh, Twin Peaks or whatever. But there was there was one thing where, like, all of the subtitles had... Got this. Like, any time there was supposed to be an apostrophe, like, I'm or uh, your with, like, the, you know, Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. You know, there's, like, different styles. Hey, can you cut that out? You know, there's, like, different styles of... I had to wait for him to come out of his shell. All right, Arashi. and now we're gonna run up and just super electrify him. You know, there's like different, uh, subtly different, like visual styles for apostrophes, at least on like an American, uh, in America, like you might see them uh, position a little wit wit bit. So sometimes they're just like a straight line or on a different typeset, you might see them up here as like they have a little bit of a curve to them so that they're more shaped like a comma would be, even though they're in a different position. Well, in Twin Peaks, they apparently, it, I don't remember if it was Twin Peaks, it was something that we were watching. They couldn't decide which style of apostrophe to use. So they just used both of them all the time so any time there should be an apostrophe in a word, this is the green thing I was looking to get, by the way. Oh, I am all full up on medium jelly. All right, fair enough. And when I described it to that to somebody like recently, they were saying, oh, that's just a quotation mark then. No, 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 no. You can see two apostrophes right next to each other of subtly different styles. How did that even happen? Like, how would you do that even if you had an AI doing, like, uh, um, guesswork on what was being said? It's ridiculous. Okay, and hello to Centrifugal Force. Uh, Ronan says hello to Force. It's interesting to me when writers and authors intentionally choose to leave out um, or write around contractions. I have always wondered, if you go through 
and you like you watched every single episode and movie. Well, I guess I guess it's less prominent in the movies, maybe. Of like Star Trek: The Next Generation. Are there any examples of Brent Spiner, who played Commander Data, accidentally using a contraction? Because that's like a thing about Commander Data. Commander Data is an expert shot with a phaser. He can run um, incredibly sophisticated calculations on demand in his head. Uh, he can calculate how long it takes to get to anywhere in the galaxy at warp 9.912, but he can't figure out how to use a contraction. Oh, wait, I really... I So, guys, we have to get rid of the doppel pools because they are ruining us with lots of doppels. Oh, I didn't want to bungle or boffle the single doppel. Oh, Christ! I made it. I'm sorry. I'll focus. Wait, no. Sorry, I was trying to turn some of this stuff off. I've got, <laughs> I've got so many effects on right now. Yeah, I feel like uh, avoiding contractions can be used to emphasize a particularly formal or rigid style of speech. That might be where um, I would use it personally. You got this. But if I were doing uh, captions or subtitles for something, I would really consider it to be extremely important to, for them to be Leave it to me. as accurate as possible. Don't fail. Oh, man. Some are close to their limit. All right, I, I, I walked right into that. That one was entirely on me. Let's have some fun. Oh, crap. Too slow. Man. Okay. Kasane, it can't really say too slow. He wrecked me pretty good there. I'm trying to stand up. Get up. All right. I need some medium jelly, I'd say. Wait, when we say now, Kasane... Yeah, everyone's on break. Everything's good. All right. Force is saying many first-time English learners tend not to use contractions because they're still learning the logistics of the language. I imagine it would be absolutely nightmarish to try to learn. Like, I'm, I am a native English speaker and, you know, had to sort of learn the differences between your Y-O-U-R to mean, like, the possessive or... You are like Y O U apostrophe R E, your, to say like you, you know, you are. All right, this is clearly something that I can teleport through. I'll leave it to you. Oh, let me grab this. And then all the homonyms, all of the, uh, what, what do you want to say? The, um, let's have some fun. The silent E's, the silent U's, um, oh, this, no, this is, this can't be the right way to go. Let's go, Kagura. I'll do it. 
I'm not sure that um, pyrokinesis is appropriate in an environment where that asshole is spraying water all over the place, but uh, we'll figure it out. All right, fine, fine, fine. You got this. Why don't you come out of that box again? Spray some water around. See how it goes this time. Uh, Force is saying, uh, I feel like it's an easy way to differentiate who is talking, but in many cases it feels cheap to me. I've moved away from it in, in certain years. Oh, I have certain characters who are still understanding and navigating the English space. I have certain characters who are still understanding and navigating the English space uh, to speak very formal English. Yeah, and, and, and like... Also, like, if I were writing for, like, a monarch, for example, someone who's going to have a, uh, a very, um, authoritative and formal way of speaking, uh, I might have, I might have them use a lot of, like, contraction-free language. Also, let me just check, have, have we leveled up? I mean, I know I have, but, yeah, no, they're still lower level than everybody. Yuito, come on, guys, you gotta pick it up. And I'm still, I'm still at only at three brain points. I'll leave it to you. Uh, wait, did I pass a save point recently? Hold on a second. Because, again, they're a little bit low on health. No, nowhere... Nowhere recently, although there is one other thing to go look at. I feel like I'm bur burning a lot of uh, brain drive power, but such is life. Wait, what is in here? Oh, normalization tablets. Okay. Let's have some fun. All right. Anything else? Nope. Looks like we can't go any further. Nothing to open or destroy. War says it's so blasé, I feel like it doesn't do much aside from making the character feel like a cardboard cutout, which works in Data's case. I feel like it would be a crutch to... Uh, sorry, I feel like it would be a crutch and avoid doing it nowadays. The, uh, the use of, like, writing around contractions. Yeah, I'd say if there's, like, um, additional mechanisms to make each character, sorry, to make each character feel like they are speaking with their own unique voice. Yeah, see, I want to go over to the left and then cut back over to the right, and then we'll hit the save point. We got all this stuff wrapped up. But the people of Togetsu aren't too worried about the the feng shui of it all. Just lots of uh, very sharp corners. I, I, sorry, I should know, I don't know anything about uh, feng shui or whatever. Oh, hey, hold on, this is perfect. We'll use an all medium jelly. That'll get them out of the danger zone, and then we can pick that up. I know they all have powers, but it just seems so needlessly difficult to make everything, you know, these stairs that you have to uh, jump or float over all the time. Okay, there's definitely something up there. The question is, how would I get there? I do a little bit of air dashing, of course, but... Can I stand on this box? Yes. Okay. Nope. Kasane will not raise her arms up over her shoulders to pick that ledge. Let's just try it with teleportation. I can't imagine this would work, but... Nope. All right. It may appear to be a dead end at first glance, but I think we can make it to the other side with my power. My friend HW uh, would get a little bit help. irritated to be, um, like, have that information. Okay. 
to have that information shared by Luca each and every time. But for me, I'd rather have the character say it more than I need than for me to forget it and get like frustrated about how I'm supposed to admit. Now this on the other hand is cool. I like the uh, the artwork with like the, the Minecraft aesthetic. That looks pretty cool. Also, am I supposed to do something with that, that triangle statue down there, that upside down pyramid? Or is it just flashing in relation to the, I don't know. Support me. There we go. And for all of that, I can't hold any more max jelly. Well, that's fine. I need your help. Now, Forrest, if I can ask, where are you writing these characters? Are they in like short stories that you do, or is there a larger project underway? Also, like, is it too early? What What is today? Today is the 18th. At what point is it no longer too early to just start wishing people, you know, that you hope that they have a good holiday? Um, assuming that they, uh, that they celebrate anything at all, but hopefully, like, people will have time off from work or otherwise get an opportunity to see friends and family. Like, it needn't be a formal like celebration of a particular holiday. If here at the end of the year, they get an opportunity to like reconnect with people like that in of in and of itself is reason for celebration and okay hold on this continues to flash the statue as though there's something that i should be able to do with it don't fail okay so that also would have worked whoops hold on yeah let me get those off But it's like, at this time of year, you just never know if somebody's gonna be like, all right, I'm, uh, I do have some time off and I'm, I'm heading out and I won't be around for, uh, for the next couple of weeks. I'm gonna go out uh, on a trip. And I would just hope that people who have something planned know that we wish them uh, the best end of the year and that they have a great opportunity to uh, hang out with people. Uh, and if they're going somewhere, awesome. And if they are, um, not, or having people come to visit them. I hope that goes well. Okay, here we go. Now we're at the save point. I don't think I need to buy anything. If anything, I'm over full on a lot of my curatives. Oh, hi, everyone. You can trust me. All right, now I sort of got to back off. At least until one of them pops back out, and then hopefully we can do... Nope, no, do the other one. What? That seems to be the spot. Check me. Go! Let's do this. All right, yeah. No, we definitely left, dude. You don't have to worry about anything at all. I'll do it. It's over. Oh. Sometimes I forget, like, those guys were all, uh, like, moisture-based, so I was like, oh, I'll use, uh, electrokinesis, and then forgot to turn it back off. Wait, who's that? Give it to me, Arashi. Let's go, Kyoka. Shell are working. I'll try to break it. I need your help. Oh man, I thought I could get in there quickly enough with teleportation. Run, youngster. Check 
Arg! Oh, get up! Thanks, Emma. Great job. B B B B B. The shell is broken. Aim for its weak spot. Useless. Oh, I'm actually... Wow. It's been a while since I've been out of um, Psychokinesis Juice. So we're still making progress. This uh, this environment, more than a lot of the rest of the game, has felt very uh, samey so far. Just uh, very, very cube-based here in Tegetsu. Which is interesting, because the church, or whatever the first area is that you go into, is all sort of, like, triangle-based. I wonder if we're going to get to, like, uh, I don't know, trapezoids at some point. Here's the rhombus room. I don't do well against these guys. Warning. It's up to you. Yeah, these guys have a few different moves that just like insta strike. Urgh. At least for me. That was close. Let's go, Joker. Okay, that's not this way. Just use it. Support me. Okay, I thought he was gonna like dive away and we wouldn't be able to finish him off, but we did okay. Also, I also know this will be um uh, forces. Oh, you know what I'm not doing at all? Yeah, we should start using the the assault visions as well. This will be, uh, Force's first, like, uh, holiday season in her new, uh, place, so hopefully that'll be fun. Sorry, I just really liked uh, that it was already dead by the time she finished the thought. Okay, hold on. Let's see if we can speed run this a little bit. It's all in how you use it.
Oh, I think we lit him on fire. All right, that's cool. How do you like that, buddy? Kill it! Okay. I didn't have a lot of uh, opportunities to get out of the way of his, like, fire belch. I was like, okay, we gotta pop this. I wonder if, uh... Force has played um, Horizon Zero Dawn. I've been thinking a lot, a lot about that game, about whether or not we wanted to try to do a replay of it, uh, presumably on a harder difficulty level ahead of the release of Forbidden West. I will not be at all surprised if that gets further delayed past its current date, just because I think that the... Dodge! I'm off. How's this? Stay down! That wall is burning. All right. Sorry, I. Those guys, again, do a lot of damage in a very short amount of time if you slip up, so uh, I fell silent there for for a moment. Uh, it is very difficult for me to imagine that uh, there's not going to be another wide-scale lockdown. Uh, it is heartening, in a small way at least, to hear that the Omicron variant of COVID-19 is not as... Like, the symptoms at first blush appear to be a little bit less... Um, less severe, but we don't know anything yet about the long-term effects, about, uh, like, a, th there, there could be other things that we don't yet know about it, so I know that where we're working, sorry, where I'm working, it is, hold on. You know, no announcements whatsoever, but really feels like uh, we're lining up that people will be able to return to working entirely from home on a quasi-mandatory basis. Oh, uh, that wasn't a good use of that. Okay, I gotta, I gotta chill out here. I need to take some juice. There we go. Oh no! Oh god. Okay. Uh, we can work around this. It's all in how you use it. I'm borrowing this. Okay, uh, I take it back. You know what we're gonna have to do? We gotta take care of this guy, because I cannot deal with him. Oh, I thought I was invisible. Okay, that's not great. I'm not done yet. Let's do this. Okay. All right. <laughs> New plan. Run, youngster. I'll leave it to you. Leave nothing. thanks to my power. Okay, yeah, we'll have a big party for you later, Sheedon. You got this. God damn it. So, this thing has me on lock, and every time I try to go invisible to close the... Yeah, there's, there's something going on. This must be... Let me, let me try this one more time. 
Because every single time I go invisible, it sniper shots me. All right. I wonder if this is like a, like a more advanced version of it, or what is its deal? Oh god. It dolphined up out of the sludge to get me. You can trust me. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay. I really want to get, um, who is that, Yuito? Back up. Oh, he's back up. Okay. I don't want to use all my light jellies, although it's feeling like I might have to. Maybe not. I know this is going to do him up real good. Be somewhere not there. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was Hanabi's assault vision, and I'm not sure that I've done it a bunch before. I didn't realize that she showed up with a fucking Ragnarok sword and just went directly through someone. So Force was saying... This holiday season, experience the magic that the Force family has to offer. Gigi ta terrifying Lenny and causing him to have an asthma attack. This Christmas experience, the magic of cat throw up on the floor at 7 a.m. as you're rushing out the door. Uh, I will say this, having like lived that experience, cat vomit on the floor is preferable to cat vomit on the bed. It's a steam cleaning done in years past. All right, I'm sorry, where am I? I got, like, hugely hooked into that. Okay, so I see where to go, I believe. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Um, so, yeah, I've already done everything here? Yes. I'm very specifically not using uh, healing items because I'm hoping that the save point will come up before too many more... Yep, enemy encounters. Here we go. All right, and now I am going to buy some stuff. Let's buy new products. Okay, we'll figure it out. Um, let's buy some light jellies. Uh, a little bit of extra space. And, you know, get some of these. And the rest I'm pretty well... doing cat ear head I've got plenty of cash tin foil hat that sounds awful oh hey we could just buy a breastplate or two yeah let, let me get at least one of those yeah let's see who this would look good on I feel like the person that I'd most want it to be on would probably be uh him, since he's one of our, like, major tanks. Yeah. A little bit of extra armor on him. I like to look at that. Alright, and then... I don't think there's anything else that I want to put him on. This this is Ogre Horm. I, I, I don't dislike any party member enough to have that on them. It's, it's horrible. Horrifying. Um... Yeah, no, we're good. All right, you guys got anything else? We already got that um, backpack, side pack, 
Pretty body ribbon. Pretty body ribbon is not pretty at all. Ankle ribbon. Wait a second. Wait, what? We can just buy these? Wow, I haven't visited the buy menu in a super long time. I didn't realize that you could just buy these things outright. Okay, I don't need any of these, I don't think. Wow, all right, that's cool. I don't think I need anything here. Right. Oh, wait, I'm on the everything tab. Yeah, that's going to take a million years. All right, so, like, weight hammer V2 plus. I don't need that. I think I need plugins, visuals. No, we're good. Presents. I'm pretty sure that we've already, like, gotten all the presents, but let me just take a quick look. I'm looking for any any present that doesn't have a check mark for the person that is willing to accept it. Oh! Yeah, yeah. I'm never able to spend vase pause analysis to get this for her. I'd love to get her... Like, Kyoka would really love fortune-telling playing cards. I just... I've never had an extra vase pause analysis that wasn't going towards... Um getting everybody their upgrade chips. Now that almost everybody has their upgrade chips, I think it's like Sugumi needs one more. I didn't mean to like spend time in here. Yeah, all right. And then materials. Yeah, we can't get any of these, okay. Uh, Force locks the bedroom every day to specifically prevent the, uh, the bed vomit. Uh, and further says, I paid uh, money, money, money for these Egyptian cotton sheets and nice, nice throw pillows. It doesn't need essence of GG uh, for accessorization. Yeah, one thing that I've discovered about cats is that there is there's no time that they are feeling more more affectionate, more friendly, more eager to spend time with you than either when they are. Uh, just about to hack something up. They really want to be in the room where you are for that. Or they have Support just uh, used the litter box and have not yet... Um... Hold on. Oh, God. Ooh, this is going to be bad. It's up to you. I trust you, Kasane. The attacks to the outer shell are working. I'll try to break it. Here we go. Don't fail. Hold on. We can end this guy right now and have one fewer thing to worry about. Okay, if I can grab... Alright, I guess I can't. Dodge. Okay. I'm not even sure what powers I might have active right now. I came in here to see if there was anything cool. Uh, yeah, get through here. Well, there's something. I bet it's cool. Yeah, medium jelly. I'll take that. That was worthy that worthy of the trip. And that is everything in here. Let's have some fun. 
The only thing about doing like a replay of something like Horizon Zero Dawn is number one, it's not a short game. Number two, I know that Mia is planning to play it at some point. I don't know where it falls in her schedule, but uh, it's it's on the docket at some point. So I wouldn't want to like get things oversaturated. And number three, then this comes up with replaying any game, no matter how long ago it is. There's so many games out there that I've never played that I'd like to experience with you guys. So as much as I'd like to do a Horizon Dawn replay, I don't know if it'll happen. Okay. Hold on a second. Uh, let me just get this ready. As this asshole snipes me again. Yeah, see, this is how it should normally go. I'll do it. It's over. Seems to be the spot. Let's do this. Tell me she did. The attack to the outer shell is working. I'll try to break it. The shell is broken. Aim for a weak spot. Got it. Check it. That was a nice move. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I will say, as much as I enjoy the effects work in this, like all the weapon attacks and the animations and stuff, I, I will say, and this is no slight against this game at all, Final Fantasy VII Remake, like, uh, Dan Tack over at, I think, uh, twitch.tv slash Dan Snacks, S-N-A-X, I think that's his Twitter handle, um, he has just recently started playing Final Fantasy Remake for the first time, and... That game does better weapon and combat effects than I think any game that I've seen as of this this comment. Okay, guys, we'll do it. Well, it messed up Augur Sabbath real well, so I guess we'll call that a success. We knocked him over without even uh, breaking his shell. That was cool. Okay. Um, I have taken enough damage that I think I'm going to head back to the... Don't ask me why I sometimes randomly get confused about which button is the... Thing. Yeah, um, the, the save guy was right back here. So we can get a free top up on our health by just... Uh... I'll leave it to you. Heading back here real quick. Boy, what a turnaround from last episode. Last episode was all... And not a knock, again. Um, last episode was all... Uh, dialogue. And this episode was a little bit to get us set up, but I, I don't remember a phase of the story that had this few cutscenes just sort of navigating the environment. Usually the characters will, like, break in and, and comment to one another. Also, let me just check to see if it's time to switch out our party members. Yep, yep, we got them up to level 50. So, let's welcome Hanabi and probably Gemma in here. I'm gonna bring Luca in here too, but we gotta gotta make some choices on who is and isn't in the squad. And sorry, what was this? Well, something. You got this. Yeah, that guy's gonna go shell, but. This guy doesn't know what's up. It's not yet. Try using my power on that machine. We might be able to use it to attack. Useless. Nice job. 
Yeah, if I can lure them. Oh, wait, wait. I've got an idea for that over there. Let me just make sure that we get there in time. Oh yeah, Gemma, can you push him a little bit further over that way? Actually, I bet I bet we're already close enough. It's all in how you use it. You can trust me. Oh, but what I was going to say about Final Fantasy VII Remake, which we do have a full playthrough here on the channel, I'll say nothing about the story, but just, man, the, the weapon effects, like, every sword slash causes these, like, sparks to fly off that appear to be, like, physically based, they'll bounce around the environment and, like, swirl around the characters as they move through them, it just... It looks astounding. That was one thing that I maintained all the way through our playthrough of Let's Final Fantasy so XV. Um, every individual frame... So when you teleport, what would happen if there was a tree where you were going? You would probably break. I need your help. And not only would it break, it might cause a nuclear explosion. So I can only teleport to places I know are safe. When the area is out of my visual range, I need someone with clairvoyance, like you. I always appreciate your help. I'm glad I can help, even though I'm not very strong. Okay, sorry. Um... Yeah, I want to come over here and see what's up over here. So I just wanted to make sure that I wasn't... skipping something. And I also didn't want to cut off their dialogue. Support me. One thing that I maintain all the way through Final Fantasy XV is that every I'll individual frame of that game looked like concept art. I mean, it really... It, that game really looked stellar. Kasane, try using my power on that machine. We might be able to use it to attack. Oh. Setting the oil on fire is an effective strategy. I'm borrowing this. Nice fire! You got this! This auger's habit is not having the best afternoon. Okay, anything else we need in here? There must there must be some reason to have come over here, so we're gonna continue to explore. Let's have some fun. Wait, no, there's no... There's no way I saw everything down there. Hold on a second, I'm sorry. I'll leave it to may you. appear to be a dead end at first glance. But I think we can make it to the other side with my power. I think I might have gone into the first chamber and then accidentally turned back around. Let's have some fun. Luca, don't don't give up in your power yet. Uh okay, hold on. We just gotta stand still until we can. I'll leave it to you. It may appear to be a dead end at first glance. But I think we can make it to the other side with my power. Useless. Them. 
Okay, sorry, before I do this, whoops. Let me just double check again. So, yeah, I'm accidentally heading back out. We want to turn 180 degrees and go back this way. And there's our prize, whatever those green cubes are. Hopefully they were worthy of the journey. Even if they're nothing, we still got experience points and stuff for beating all the extra optional enemies, so I'm cool with it. Hey, 10,000 kin, just... Hey, where should we keep our life savings? How about just on the top of this giant flat cube surface? No one will be in there. We really littered the, the pathway there with all of the others that we could spare. Oh, hello to Moo. Goofy stopped by earlier, may still be here. I uh, said I that uh, you were napping. I hope you had a great relaxation and that the kids are having a good time off at uh, ski camp, ski time, whatever it's. Uh, the skiing that they're doing. I'm off. Oh, wow. Teleportation goes down just as fast. No. I thought I could, I thought I could avoid turning it off. If I use hyper velocity, I could run over there a little bit faster. Support me. A fantastic nap, and now it's time to work. What is it today, Moo? Is it like organizing photos, or is it uh, work around the house, or work for the holidays, getting stuff ready? All right, um, before we go in there, do I wanna... No, I'm not going all the way back for this save point. We're good, and just go in here. I need your help. Don't fail. Wait. I almost went ahead without looking left or right. Yeah, I bet there's going to be a save point right past this 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 uh, staircase. We've been making excellent progress through phase 10 here. Interestingly, again, very little story content uh, to this one, except at the very beginning there. Uh, not a lot of chatter among the crew, but I am also keeping one eye on the clock because in just about 40 minutes, there's going to be a watch party on Mia's Discord. And I want to make sure that we get a chance to see it. At that time, we'll probably toss over to, to uh, Samalander, who is currently doing some farming sim. Yeah, we were watching some of that before we started up. I am so happy that Caroluna, Samalander, um, uh, Jaegermeister are all having a good time with farming sim, because they were really looking forward to that. And I think if you have been a gamer for a long enough time, then you will certainly be familiar with like eagerly anticipating something up to and including the sequel to something that you really enjoyed and then being woefully under underwhelmed by what you actually get. But they all seem to be having a very good time with Farming Sim. Farming Sim is uh, a game that I could easily see myself falling deep into in the event that I needed to completely decompress. Uh, for me, I think, feel like it would be one of those games that I would play off stream, but my job for today is to... Oops. Hold on a second. That's... All right. I mean, that's fine. Get up. Uh, Moo was saying the most terrifying job she can think of is that of playing the Grinch on ice skates and being mobbed by children trying to take his or her mask off. Why did that happen? Yikes. Uh, and also Moo was saying that of the work today, all of the above. First, I have to finish editing, then submit the photos from last night's gig. Wow, I didn't realize that there was a gig last night. Yesterday was very, very busy. Uh, for both of us here. There was a lot happening, and I wound up being very late to, to Mia's stream as a result. Let's have some fun. Uh, but it seemed like she had a good time. 
And then Moo is also saying, I was sure the photos would end up being used for a police report. Oh, oh, that must have been the gig that you were on. Wow, I hope, uh, I hope everybody had a good time and that it wasn't, uh, I don't know, there were no tears involved. Were the kids also on ice skates? Did anybody fall? Whoops. Uh, okay. Nothing here. This might be an environment where there's something super cool that's hidden, and I am not going to find it because there's too many blind corners. Like, there's something up there, for example. I might be able to get this. All right, that's cool. Do I want to try to, like, uh, follow what appears to be a little bit of a path? So we can jump up there. Let me just uh, move one of those boxes out of the way. Yeah, there could be something cool up here. Yeah, yeah, look up here. All right, I see that out there. We'll 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 be there in a second. I'm gonna like move these boxes rather than try to jump over them because I'm worried that I might like get get boppled down. And I'm not gonna try to teleport here because I won't know exactly. The teleportation actually works really well in combat, but as a traversal mechanic, I'm never exactly sure how far over I'm gonna go. Oh, hey, we don't need this, I don't think. Let me see if Sugumi, is this the one that Sugumi needs? Let's go to... Oh, I can't do that from here. Let's check, um... Presence. Yeah! Okay, cool! We have the, um, I'm pretty sure the parallelization mark 5 or whatever, that'll unlock Sugumi's last thing, but it has to be given as a present, so we can't give it to her right now. Luckily, the cringe seemed to be excellent, uh, an excellent and fast skater. An open ice skating with the Grinch. I saw some video where it's like, um... <laughs> it was some, like, Marvel event where, like, somebody was dressed up as, like, Thanos, and some kid, like, rushed on stage and, like, kicked him right in the head. And, like... It's not funny for the guy that got kicked in the head, but here is here is a here is a kid who has properly understood the story of Thanos and like you have to do whatever is necessary to get this guy stopped. Might have might have been done with a little bit of extra coaching from the parents about like, hey, uh, that's that's not the real Thanos. He's just like here to help us understand the story of Thanos. So um, please do not kick, go up on stage and kick him in the head. Okay, dude, you have to be... Yeah, there we go. Hopefully this counts. Hey, level 52. Let's see if we can brain map. I also wanted to read what Moo was saying. Um, Grove says, Moo wakes up and doesn't tell me. I see how it is. Moo says, kids probably age 3 to 12 or so. Some good skaters and some with skate aids. Plastic walkers that beginners use to hold on to and slide across the ice. Lots of falls, but luckily kids bounce. Uh, Moo was also saying, I didn't know. I had to report in. Uh, Grove says, I'm working. Hangs out in Twitch. And then finally, Moo says that kid was on top of the world for about 30 seconds. Yeah, the kid who, like, kicked Thanos. Like, like a, br like a super brave kid. Like, I, I would be terrified to, like, go up to an adult when I was the size. Like, if you guys haven't seen the video, if anybody here, it's like, this kid's, like, four years old. Like, like, capable of running 
in the way that a small child runs, but not much bigger or older than having mastered that skill. And just runs up and like, uh, uh. <laughs> like, hopefully, hopefully the actor wasn't hurt because that really, that really would not be funny. But uh, the rest of it was, uh, was pretty fun. Why do I have these? Should I be, um, oh no, these are all the things that I've, I've equipped and yeah, got it. Okay. Sorry, um, what was I doing? Let me check the map. Yeah, I think we're just on our way forward. But didn't, oh, that, that's right, the brain map. I was trying to like, why did I go into the menu? Yeah, because we just leveled up. Wow, suddenly I have 11 points. I don't know where those all came from. Uh, no complaints though. So we can expand the step up, uh, the step back attack. Uh, here's the reason why I'm not doing that. I feel like for a large extent, like the combos, there's a maximum length of the combos can be regardless of what Kasane can do. Uh, they will, like she's going to get interrupted at that point. The aerial follow-up attack seems real good. And then we've got the follow-up extent. Yeah, that's the ground follow-up attack. Over here, we've got power up to attack plus 5%. There's no, never a bad time for that. Then we've got, I don't care about that. So it restores the brain drive gauge. Yeah, let's get that. That we can stay in brain drive longer as long as we're like fighting guys. And then uh, I'm gonna get the uh, attack uh, plus 5%. It's not the uh, flashiest ability, but works out real well. Grumpy's saying, I'm warning you with the first 30 minutes of California Christmas City Lights. Is that, um, is that a song? I actually don't know. Also, Groomfee, like, Mia had said that you were really looking forward to this. It's going to be uh, uh, a, a, a Christmas miracle, the watch party today. So hopefully you're able to come hang out. We all, we, you know, I think everybody understands if somebody's busy and they can't. But uh, whenever something feels thematically appealing, I want to make sure that they at least know that it's happening. Okay. Yeah, we can't possibly get past that clear barrier. You got this. Nice. The enemy doesn't see us. Don't fail. That seems to be the spot. No. Useless. It's over. Kasane. I trust you, Kasane. <laughs> Yeah, this is... Okay, let's turn off everything. And then we'll use hypervelocity to get in here. Yeah, an interesting thing about the the way the combat flows in this game is that you'll have encounters where you just, you completely body the enemies. Like, you don't even take a hit or whatever. I guess Hanabi took some hits, but, you know, that's on her. Uh, and then, if, if in the combat, at least the way that I've built the characters, it if it goes a little bit wrong, you're dead so fast. Let's do this. I can't see it anymore, but I can feel it. Let's use SAS to find it. Useless. Yeah, we we will use clairvoyance to do that in a second. Let's just avoid his water attack. Um. Oh, there's nothing for me to pick up. Yeah. No, I really want to finish this guy first, if we could. Okay, now I can turn my full attention towards this guy. How's this? Let's take it down while it's burning. Dodge. Okay. Yeah, case in point. This is a lot of damage. Just focus. 
Whoa, Hanabi, re relax. We did it. Oh, interesting. Moo says that uh, she could keel over uh, right in front and uh, Grumpy would not tear his eyes away from today's watch party marathon. Oh, sorry. It's not the way to go. Here I am burning uh, brain drive time. Nope, sorry, wrong one. Let's get rid of them. It seems to be locked. We might be able to open it using my power, though. Kasami, try it out. I, you know what I've not ever once paid attention to? The presence of SAS refueling drinks. I just have never grokked that that's a thing before right this moment, that there's an item that you can use to refuel, refuel your SASs. The issue for me is that at least the way that we've built it so far, uh, whatever gauges I'm not using are recharging so quickly that as soon as I'm done with the current set, I'm ready for the next. Don't fail. The attacks to the outer shell are working. I'll try to break it. Let's fly. Oh, no, let's go right back. Where'd he go? Oh, is he dead? All right. I thought that just knocked his shell off, but... Come on. We did it. Okay, now we obviously go this way. Yep. Given the length of this environment so far, I am perfectly comfortable with, <laughs> with using her hoverboard to just uh, blow the enemies away. All right. Leave nothing. You corner it. Oh, sure. Yeah, let's do this some more. Well, we. I'll kill you. Oh, there's a finishing move to it. I didn't know that. I thought she would just hop off of it. Okay, so Goofy is correcting uh, that he would uh, pause long enough to call an Uber to take Moo to the hospital. Not, not leave her collapsed on <laughs> collapsed on the floor. All right, if we are fortunate, then we are heading into, uh, hopefully then, uh... Help me, Shida. ...an encounter here, because I'm keeping one eye on the clock, and this has been, uh, this has been a journey, but hopefully we are... I mean, that, that looks like where a boss battle might happen. Sonic. The enemy lost sight of us. It's 
Darn it. Oh, we're not done. Okay. When I'm in the middle of a combo and the enemy just gets gets tired and walks away. <laughs> just oh, I've had enough of this. Don't fail. Yeah, we're out of fire time, so okay. Also an invisible guy. I'm trying to dodge. Do it. Check. That was a good attack. You can do it. Okay, a little bit of light jelly, if I could. Okay. Uh, also, maybe max jelly? That'd be fine. Okay, I gotta take care of uh, Augur Sabbat, I think. Let's go, Joker. I'm not sure what she wraps around that tail to yank it off with such force, but I really like it. Okay. Uh, before I go up here, there's no save point. There was a... No, there's a save point right ahead. Perfect. All right. This is perfect. We're just going to save it up here, and I'll probably take just a quick second to buy any supplies that we're missing. Oh, hello to Diesel Jones, who just resubscribed for seven months. Diesel Jones, thank you so much. 
Diesel, I hope you're having a great Saturday. I hope you've had a great December so far. And just in case, gosh, I hope I didn't miss him. Uh, sorry, I was embroiled in that combat. Just in case, Diesel, uh, I hope that you and your family have a fantastic holiday season. Hopefully this will not be the last time that we see you before now in the end of the year, but I just hope that, that you have a great year. Uh, it can, you know, 2021 has been uh, has been a real ride for everybody, and hopefully we can ring in the new year with a little bit uh, heightened optimism, but, you know, we'll see how it goes, and I just hope that you're doing super good. Okay, let me just buy uh, any jellies that I need. Uh, we'll go over to bat. nope, battle items, yeah. Some of those. You know what? There's not going to be more uh, in there. Let's actually max out on all this stuff. And we're good there. Spy a max jelly. Yeah, and uh, the the rest we're fine with. Diesel is doing well. Awesome. All right, it'd be awesome if we can do whatever's up here with a uh, full, with some brain drive left to it. What is this place? Another one? I think that was bigger than last time. Do you think the Kunad Gate is expanding? We don't have time for chit chat. We need to keep moving. Wait, Wait a, a moment. moment. That voice. Please, Please listen, listen to me. <gasps> Mother? Huh? What? Huh? That's your mother, right, Yuito? What is she doing here? And Kasani, what did you just say? This is a vision created by Babe. What an underhanded trick. Wakana was a precious person. She was a successful design children model, and she had the power of the red strings. My mother was one of them? And she is important to both Yuito and Kasane. Wakana took care of Kasane when she was little. I heard she fled from Togetsu after an incident. I thought those Togetsu bastards killed Mother. That's what I remember anyway. So, Yuito's mom ran away from Togetsu, and then met his dad in Suo? Chairman Sumeragi may have provided refuge to her. Once he found out she was connected to Togetsu. That is why I thought this form would be best to get you to listen. Yuito, Kasane, you must know. This world is in danger of destruction at the hands of the Kunan Gate. It is not only Togetsu. There are many people living in Suo and Seiron, all over New Himuka. To save all of the people who are important to you, I must have your help. Help? Yuito. I apologize for leaving you alone while you were still young. If you come with me now, your loneliness will be cured. Kasane, do you remember that puppy? That little dog was your friend. If nothing is done, everyone will die. All your friends in the world will die just like your puppy. Will you both help me? Connect your minds and become one with me. Use the red strings to save the world. Don't use my mom for your dirty schemes. Mother wouldn't say things like that. You're not fooling anyone. Is that the best a machine can come up with? You've really underestimated these two. A foolish decision. The brain of the Wakana that you love has already been processed and made a part of me. What did you say? Uh, are human brains being used as organic parts for Babe? So then, that means my mom wasn't attacked by others after all. It was you, Babe. No, Togetsu. You stole my mother's brain! All of it was to save the world. What do you mean, save? You're only saving yourselves. You can't sway me with visions of mother. 
You don't want us to get any further. I won't let you use my mom anymore. I will stop Babe. What? Lord, run! The floor is collapsing! I'm glad everyone's all right. What is this place? Something feels different. What? The floors again? This is bad. Everyone, run! Sugumi, is there a place we can teleport to? This is the only path. Wait. <gasps> Another is coming. It's big. Oh, God. The floor collapses quickly behind you, so you must keep moving to prevent yourself from falling. It will be game over if you fall, so you'll have to use dash, jump, and SAS to push forward. Yeah, let's do that. It's up to you. We might as well get a, a good uh, head start here. No! Wow! Okay. The other got right up against the camera, so I wasn't... I saw the, the floor collapsing quickly. I thought, oh, okay, I'll, I'll use teleport, but it was already too late. Dougler says, I know nothing of what is going on right now, but that one line, I'm sorry for leaving, but now I'm here, is 100% manipulation and kind of pisses me off. I say we murder lots of that person. Well, if they're a babe vision... Oh, what, are you kidding? Hold on. Is it really going to try to what do the cutscene again? Place? Okay. Wow. If that's a babe vision, then we might um, find that we get lots of opportunities to murder that character. And hello to Doogler, by the way. All right. So... Don't even think about taking that other down. Meaning we have to run away. I can't see the bottom. If we fall, we'll die. Run, youngster! I figure if we get far enough ahead, then we can always, um, like, just let it recharge. It? It's ridiculously huge! Hanabi, focus on running! Don't stop! Well, honestly, when the cutscene was playing, I was thinking to myself, Oh man, thank god I don't have to, uh, do anything here. Like, it's just a, it's just a cutscene outrunning the collapsing bridge. Alright. Relax and use SAS. I need your help. Gigantic. Ouch. It seems to be just observing for now. If we keep evading the oncoming others, we should be able to make it out, right? I would like to think so, but you can't let your guard down until we're out of here. That sucked. Yuto's right. It seems like they're not giving it their all yet. Don't drop your guard, everyone. So here they shouldn't be able to, um... Oh, no, keep running, though. All right, that's fine. I don't know what this means for me. So I'm gonna be able to look at chat while we're doing this um battle toad sequence. Just a little more. Okay, let's break through. 
Thank God Kasani does her cardio. I guess I didn't da dash properly during my first attempt. We may have fallen, but at least it wasn't to our deaths. So this is the real Babe? That's right. We should be able to access all of Babe from here and shut it down as well. Oh, it looks like something's already processing. What's going on? Babe is implementing emergency procedures. Could it be because we made it this far? Hmm? I felt something just now. It felt like the red strings. What's going on, Arashi? I can't believe it. It's totally empty. Huh? What do you mean, empty? I meant just what I said. All the data has been erased without a single trace. Feels vindictive. So you mean Babe shut down of its own accord? I like your wishful thinking, but something just doesn't seem right. Regardless, it doesn't look like Babe can do anything anymore. So is it safe to say we've managed to stop Togetsu's plan? I'd be lying if I said I was completely free of doubt. But at least at this point, it's clear that this computer is useless. The connection is restored. Hey, are you guys okay? Oh, it's Wataru. The network blocker must be gone. That must mean Babe really is shut down. You shut down Babe! Fantastic! Another earthquake. I feel like it keeps getting stronger. Wataru, that quake. Yeah, another anomaly was observed at the Kunat Gate, and they're becoming more frequent. I'm glad we stopped Togetsu's plan, but I don't like that we lost all the research data. There could have been information on the Kunad Gate. Hey, Kagero, Kyoka, is the research data safe somewhere else, or do you know someone who knows about it? It's very unlikely. The research of Red String spans over hundreds of years. It's a power filled with mystery to begin with. There probably isn't a single person who understands the whole thing. So we have no leads? Guys, there is someone. She's involved with Togetsu and is knowledgeable about the Red Strings. Who? Wakana. She fostered Kasane, who has the power of Red Strings. She must have had enough knowledge to be able to raise Kasane to control it. What are you saying? Yuhito's mom is dead. So we should go ask her directly. <laughs> directly? You can't be serious. By using the red strings? Yes. We don't seem to have any other options. Even still, I'm worried. It may damage Yuito's brain. Let's do it. If we don't do anything, the Kunad Gate will just keep expanding and bring the end of the world that much closer. I want to do everything I can, even if it doesn't work. Let's use the red strings. And we'll do everything in our power to help. So, what exactly are you going to do? If we're going to make this work, we need to keep strong emotions in check. Let's go to the Kunad Gate. I've jumped from there before, so I think it'll be easier to remember the feeling. You want to recreate what happened when the gate opened? All right, let's head there. Oh, I hope we stop at the hideout first. I'd really like to save it.
Um, so Dougler was saying, uh, if I, if every time I used a power, tentacles popped out of my back, I'd be terrified. One of the first things that happened is that they got their tentacles attached. That's their, like, uh, it sort of, like, allows them to communicate with each other and borrow each other's powers. It seems very disconcerting to me as well, especially when Kasane uses her powers to, like, physically drill those tentacles into their flesh, but... They all seem cool with it. It's very painful from what they've said. Yuito says, I always thought that my mom was attacked and killed by another 11 years ago, but I was wrong. It was Tagetsu that killed her. R, she says, the great other assault on Loka Lakusho City, the incident where the city was completely laid to waste. I remember it. Hanui says, Yuito, you were staying at the old OSF hospital in Lokusho City. That's when your mother... Oops, hold on. Uh, and then Arshi says, Tagetsu took advantage of the other attack to kill Wakana in order to take her brain. The more I learn about them, the more I hate them. Boy, they are they are just glossing right past the revelation that Yuito and Kasane were um, not birthed by the same person and not raised by the same person, but have a very, very tight uh, relationship with the same person. Babe conjured up a single person, and they both recognize that person as being their mother. Um, oh, wait, we probably just uh, fast travel out of here. Back to the Kunan Highway, Urg. Let's do it. Also, Dooley was saying what I was thinking, which is... Uh, hold on. Hey, those people in Togetsu wanted to make it so none of it ever happened, didn't they? And Kagro says, Yeah, they did. All the fun stuff and all the crappy stuff. Even things that are important to people. Everything would be gone. Even us being together and exchanging messages like this would go away. Uh, hold on. I messed up. Uh, arg! Where, where did I leave off? Sheedon says, how could that happen? The phone is the phone is so loud. Um, how could that happen? It never would have existed. I haven't achieved anything yet. And Luca says, yes, even if we were to rescue using that method, we would not be around to witness the results. Haruka says, now that I think about it, that's scary. Maybe the scariest thing I've ever heard. Kyoka says, yes, it's very scary and sad. I couldn't support these method methods now. Anyway, I'm glad we were able to stop it, seriously. Let's rebuild the future of the world with our own hands. I'm hoping this is a, uh, I was really, really, really wanted to reach the end of the, uh, the phase. But as a quick note, Mia's, um, watch party is starting momentarily. So if you are not in the Discord, I recommend jumping in. Did they build a giant staircase up to it? Poke it with a stick? The Kunat Gate. Has it always been that big? It's definitely expanding but it's still smaller than what it will be in 50 years. This place brings back a lot of memories. The red strings. I think there's a good chance this is going to work. Okay. I hope I know what it feels like. We'll give you SAS support. We should be able to boost your powers if we link our brains together. There's no telling what kind of dangers there will be, so it would be best to come back to the present as soon as possible. In order for you to have the greatest chance of success, you need to have an exact time and place to jump to meet Wakana. October 4th, 2009. The old OSF hospital in Lokusho City. If we go there, I know we'll see my mom. That was the day she died. I was in the hospital then, so it's definite. The others attacked Lokusho City that day, so the hospital moved to its new location in Suo. All right. I don't know if it'll work, but let's try envisioning that place and time in our minds. Are all ten of us going? A group that big will stand out in a hospital. About that. Like my teleportation ability, I imagine it will be too stressful on the brain to move that many people at once. So, should we narrow down the amount of people that are going? Kasane, this may be difficult to hear. But I believe you jumping alone would have the lowest risk. Luca? Regardless, those without the power of the red strings will be pulled back after a set time has passed. If we were to go with you, it would needlessly increase the strain on you and Kasane. 
Then I'm going too. I can't let Kasane go by herself. No, I agree with Luca. Though for a different reason. Yuito, if you meet your younger self, then there's no telling what might happen. It may just be a theory, but I think it's a risk we can easily avoid in this attempt. But if I make sure I don't see myself... No, I guess we can't be sure. But Kasane going by herself... I won't be alone. Everyone will be supporting me through the SAS. And since you have the same power, if you stay here, you can act as a marker for me to return to the present. That's what I think, at least. So I'm like a beacon. Okay, but don't try to do anything crazy. I won't. I promise. Give me your hand. Lend me your red strings. Of course. It's the least I can do. If you're trying to recreate what happened, my power should help. All right. Let's begin. Try to imagine it. Eleven years ago at the OSF hospital. And mother. We'll be waiting for you. <laughs> this is the same as before. Time traveling is basically like Tron. <laughs> what is this place? The place where Mother has... I can do this. They just have to imagine it in my mind. The old OSF hospital, 11 years ago. Um, so Dougla was asking, wouldn't it be a good thing if the people that went with them were like snapped back to the to the present? I think, and this is all like very like, they're, they're, it really feels to me like they're all making it up the way that they go along. But I think that like time traveling with multiple people, only to have them snapped back to the present after an arbitrary and unknowable amount of time would be unnecessary strain on Kasane for minimal benefit. So I feel like that's where they're going with it. Where am I? This is the hospital, right? Information for patients. Today is October 4th, 2009. I jumped right to when I wanted. I sort of have a sense of the red strings now. I don't think I can use them repeatedly, though. I should start looking for Mother. All right, um, I kind of doubt that we can take anything out of the past. Also, just a holographic uh, journalist here, I would assume. Let me just look down here. Nope. Yeah, if there was a save point here, I would save it here because I wanted to attend the watch party, but there is not, so we will proceed. Really? Okay, so we can't go in there, unless I'm supposed to, like, smash it open. Oh, maybe these are, like, uh, attendants at the hospital. Not reporters, but rather people. I saw a camera facing at it, but now I see it's just uh, actually a projector.
You're Kasane. Oh, I... Huh? One day, I received a memory from the future. I saw you in Togetsu. I guess Babe won its wager. It proved the potential of the Red Strings. Mother... What do you mean? I don't understand. The brains of past users of the Red Strings are connected to Babe's core. None of them were as strong as you, though. Babe used those minds to create pseudo-Red Strings to transfer data across time to Red Strings users in the past. Transfer? So the data wasn't erased. But how do you know that? I felt a tug from my brain inside Babe. Its data was transferred into my head. Uh, is that even possible? Babe took a risk so that its plan wouldn't be foiled. A huge amount of data was transferred into me. It felt like my head was split open and I fainted. When I woke up, I was astonished at the information I was given. Even so, I'm sure I wasn't sent all the information. That's how I learned that you were alive and well. This isn't the moment for reminiscing, though. I'm sure you're short on time. Thank you, Mother. I want you to tell me what you know about the Kunat Gate. Is Yuito's death really the only way to destroy it? Yes, it is. As long as Yuito lives, the world will be destroyed by the Kunod Gate. Uh. Which is exactly why I made the proper preparations for that not to happen. Now, while the Red Strings are active, is my only chance to try it. Bring me to your time. Alright. I don't know the reason why, but I'll do what you say. Wait. First, I have to find Yuito. Find him? <laughs> We're playing hide-and-seek. It's alright. He's hiding right over there. I finally finished the device to protect Yuito from memory damage. Is that the ear cuff that Yuito still wears? It's actually a tag the OSF hospital made to manage special patients. But this is a special order. If you swap this for the one Yuito is wearing now, he'll be alright. Then we'll go to the future. Okay, then we need to get Yuito. Oh, Yuito, wait! An other warning. It's starting. I'll keep you safe, Mother. Let's go after Yuito. Others could show up at any time. I have to find Yuito fast. Thank you, Dougler, for letting them know that um, this is running a little bit later Where than intended. Are you, Yuito? Yuito! Mother, look out! Sounded gruesome. Sorry. Explaining will take too long. Just let me put this on you. You see, Wakana... 
Your mom asked me to make sure you wear it. Y yeah. Okay. You have to live, no matter what. Are you all right? Is anyone hurt? Get this child to safety. He's Joe Sumeragi's son. Uh, understood. Come this way. I put the cuff on you, Ito. Thank you. People can see us here. Come this way. All right, then. Yes, let's go. This'll work. I need to think of Yuito and return to my time. Yeah, I was gonna say, make sure you Take hold on to mom. To time. Same as the vision Babe showed us, which means... Mom? Why are you here? What's going on? Yuito... Mother! We'll talk later. Her brain must be under a lot of stress. Let's find a place to rest. But won't she be pulled back to her time while resting? Don't worry. Though weak, I am a user of the Red Strings. We need to hurry back to the hideout. Wakana should be fine once she has some sleep. There's no damage done to her brain. It seems like it was just exhaustion. Good. I'm glad it's not serious. She said she could stay in this time for a while. So let's give her some rest. If it's true that Wakana has Babe's research data, then that's a hopeful sign. That reminds me. There was something we talked about inside Babe that had me curious. They were making others, but is that the same metamorphosis technique as New Himuka? It might be. It's very likely that Naomi was shot with a special bullet that contained other particles. I never could figure out how much New Himuka actually understood about them. But if they have the technique to incorporate other particles into a bullet, they should be able to do something about the extinction belt. If neither New Himuka nor Togetsu can do it, managing it must be very difficult. Perhaps it has something to do with the amount of particles. The extinction belt is made of other particles, right? So the others that fall from the sky must have been some kind of animal before. It's not birds. We learned it's in the stratosphere. But then, what animals could they be? Well, they most likely came from outer space. Outside the extinction belt. Like the moon. You're almost right. There's a moon station on the outer edge of the extinction belt that contains genetic information of many animals. Or so they say. So, the others falling to Earth was instigated by the moon too. That means no matter how much we fight, the others will be born infinitely. That's so... awful. How could they do that to the people on Earth? It's unforgivable. Very. But I'm sure the people on the moon were desperate to escape metamorphosis. Not that I'm saying you should forgive them for that or anything. With the moon's technology, they should have been able to counter it. But there was no way they could save the entire population. It's in Dr. Pope's memories, too. People terrified of other attacks. Well, we have to wait a while to talk to Wakana. So, can't we just slack off? 
I mean, take a break? You don't have to correct yourself. Slack off all you want. We'll save all the talk for after my mother wakes up. Okay, so as soon as I can, they're probably going to try to say something. I want to see if we can hopefully make it to the save point before they start up. Nope. The people on the moon for what they did. But if people are suffering from metamorphosis on the moon, too. Okay, maybe that's enough. Hold on one second. So, let's throw down a save. So, uh, I'm sorry that I couldn't interact as much as I would have wanted with Doogler. Lots of cutscenes here, and we are out of time. Um... Dougler did let them know that we're running late, um, and then hypothesized that maybe we're the reason that Mom died. Um, I guess that remains to be seen. Is Mom going to snap back to the past? She said that she has some time, but I guess we're going to, to find out. Lots of interesting story developments in the back half of this episode, the back eighth of this episode, I suppose, uh, with Kasane traveling in time. In a perfect world, I would have used this opportunity to run around and do the gifts. Hold on, they're still talking. No, they're not. Okay, so let's end it here, and we're going to find somebody fun to raid, and then what I'm going to do is find an opportunity to, or like after we raid, I'm gonna meet you guys over in Mia's Discord, in the Sandbox Discord for today's watch party that started some 20 minutes ago. Uh, sort of got caught up in a big story sequence there. So uh, heading in a little bit late. Until this, uh, until next time you guys, thank you so much. And I hope you have a great day.